my name is Mark Boyce with Scare Shipless, so Cal California, and welcome to Rides and Wrecks. What we have here is a 1955 Chevy Tri-5 vehicle. Yeah, these are pretty nice and pretty popular also. We're getting ready to cut off the front suspension of this vehicle and install the Jim Meyer suspension. It is pretty badass. We suspect that we have some frame damage here. We're going to do some cross-references. We don't want to cut this off and find out that the damage is beyond the firewall here. Then we're going to have to pull the body and do all this other stuff. That would be crazy. But for right now, what we're going to do is, like I said, check the triangulation of this front suspension. Let's take a closer look. So the first thing we did was we actually installed some reference points using some long rulers. We actually took this one here, pushed it through the body frame, pushed it up against the front body mount, squared it. We measured from here back to certain reference points, made sure it was square there. Then what we did is we put another rule up here using the reference point the factory rivets here. Now we're ready to measure from there to here to check to see if we're square. This one is 39 and an eighth on this side and on this side we're 39 so we're an eighth off. I really suspect that this frame rail here is kicked over this way and rolled back so let's go ahead and do some cross references and see what we come up with that. So we're going to use a cross measurement. We're going to actually take it from the body mount here. There's a hole there. Over, which is about 53 and a half. Now we're going to do this other side. So using the same reference point, but on the opposite side, we actually have 52 and 3 eighths. So we're pretty far off. So having that information, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Jim Meyer measurements. We're actually going to use this reference to our core support center, which is going to be, they call out 32 and a quarter, and we're about 3 eighths of an inch off there. Obviously, this is because this is a frame uh, damaged frame. And then what they want us to do is they want us to pull from that measurement, from this bar right here, from the back of the body mount, forward four inches and then using a square level to the floor mark 90 degrees on the inside and outside cutting it using a sawzall we usually like to use uh, cutoff wheels nice clean we get more accurate in there but we're going to actually add that difference right here the 3 eighths of an inch difference that we have so we're going to go 4 and 3 eighths this way we, we're going to be able to adjust it because we know we have some damage here. So let's go ahead and right now what we're going to do is we're going to put some little blocks up underneath there also so we can keep this whole frame suspended and not move and shift on us because we definitely want the, uh, the frame to stay. We want it to be in the same position. So we put these little square tubes in the back along the frame. We'll weld them on there and then we'll cut them off. Okay, as I mentioned, Jim Meyer wants the bar all the way to the back of the back of the body mount right there. They want four inches. We're going to go four and three eighths because we have some damaged frame. We, will, we want the capability to push it back if we have to. So let's measure that. We're going to use our square. We're going to scribe it. Perfect. Now we're going to do that for the outside on both sides and then we're going to start cutting it up. Okay, so we have our front all cut off and everything. We're ready to roll this on out of here. We're going to bring in the new, get rid of the past. I want to thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for some really cool tips, tricks, and Jim Meyer front suspension coming on. Cross me um, uh, measurement. Stop all that. Over. Let's do that again.